program are and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. And a final word from the last man on the moon. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. While Cernan and Schmidt closed out the last moonwalk and prepared for tomorrow's liftoff, Ron Evans worked on in orbit. Photograph, observe, describe. Keep operating the cameras and experiments in the science experiments bay. In orbit, as on the surface, the seconds are precious. Possibly at this stage. Uh, I, how is the experiment working now? Mechanically? Working extremely well. We're looking for subsurface geologic structure in the broad sense, layering, uh, for example. This is the infrared scanning radiometer. Uh, what, uh, what does that do? The radiometer measures the temperature of the moon and makes a, an accurate map of the temperature uh, beneath the spacecraft. It is working with uh, tremendous success. Uh, one other thing, how is the, the experiment uh, working mechanically as far as the man and the machine? The experiment itself, the hardware is working perfectly, precisely the way it was supposed to work. Everything has functioned properly. An important part of the experiment is it requires the man to operate it. 99, proceeded, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Run away, Houston. That's your good. Excellent. Good Six over. over. Thank you. You have good trust. Okay. 30 seconds. 308, your number. Take out to 1,500 feet. And H dot looks good. On the descent stage of Challenger, forever on the moon, they left a plaque reading, here man completed his first explorations of the moon, December 1972 A.D. May the spirit of peace in which we came be reflected in the lives of all mankind. One revolution later, Cernan and Schmidt caught up with Evans and prepared for docking. Good to see you. Good to have you all back up here. It's been a good trip. Man, yeah, that Challenger is a beautiful vehicle. You bet you. December 16th. Burn out of lunar orbit and head home to Earth. Sir, Houston, America has found some fair winds and following seas, and we're on our way home. <laughs> hey, this is great. Talk, talk about being a spaceman. This is it. December 17th, 170,000 miles from Earth. Ron Evans left the command module. Hello, Mom. <laughs> we see you, Ron. Looking great. Okay. Hey, John. How you doing? Hi, right, Jamie. Evans was retrieving film canisters from the two cameras and the lunar sounding radar. Data vital to the scientists on Earth. And the left was there. Before he got back inside, Evans took a last look at the Crescent Earth. In two more days, they would be home. December 19th, they rode inside a 5,000 degree fireball through the atmosphere of Earth. Stowed in the spacecraft, almost 250 pounds of the moon.
This closes a golden chapter in the age of space exploration. In a way, it brings a close to what has been a very romantic era in space exploration. But, and I want to make this very strong, the book is still being written. The moon, a lonely world in the absence of man. But here we have left our mark, a signature attesting a legacy to future generations. We stood on the shoulders of giants and touched the moon. This week at NASA, the Mars Exploration Rover Team will drive Opportunity into Victoria Crater to examine the composition and textures of rocks there. Scientists hope to uncover more clues about Mars' ancient and